Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick video showing how I print out my designs onto uh, more than one page. So I think this will only work on Microsoft computers. I don't think it'll work on Apple computers or Macs, but you're gonna go into your pictures and where you have your design. And usually for my designs, I'll just find them on Google. I'll just type in, um, for this one, I just did America outline or silhouette. And then that way I'll get pictures that are black and white and that are more outlines rather than pictures. But once I got my picture, I'm just gonna right click on it. I'm gonna go to open with, and I'm gonna go to paint. Then once I got it opened in paint, I'm gonna go over to file, and then I'm gonna go under print, and then you can click on print preview. And then when you're in print preview, you can go under page setup, and then this is where you can, under the scaling, you can do the adjust to size or the fit to size. So you can change it to um, two by two, and then it will give you a preview of how it would print out. Then you can go back to page setup and do three by three, and then it will make it bigger. And then for some of them, the scaling works pretty good. For some reason, this one, I think it was a small image, so the scaling doesn't really work. It will make it two by two at the biggest. And if you can't get it to the right size with the page, with the fit to, one trick that I found out is if you go to the fit to, as you can see right now, it just barely goes into that next page. So if I just go back to my image, if I close out of this, I can move this one in or out, and then that will change how big it will show up. So if I go back into there, so as you can see, since I made it bigger, now it's going right up to the edge of this page. And then if I go back and I make this a little bit smaller, now it's just barely going onto that next page. So you can use that to kind of make it bigger, smaller, in smaller increments. And then once you get it to the right size, then you go ahead and print it out. And if you have a lot of dark on the page, I got lucky because this one was an outline already, but if you have one where the whole inside is colored, you can just go back here and go on the eraser and then just go through and erase some of this stuff if you don't want it to be wasting a bunch of ink printing out um, a very large image. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if anybody knows how to do this on Apple computers or Mac computers, if you could just put that in the comments of how to do that, that would be super awesome just for those people who are using Mac computers because I don't have a Mac, so I'm not sure how to do that. So if you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope the video is helpful and please have a great day.